Hi kids, I hope you're having a great week. We're going to continue with another lesson from our Toy Story Bible Story series. And I have a question for you. Have your parents ever told you, don't play with your food? And I know it's hard. You're sitting there at breakfast and you're eating your cereal and we see your spoon and you think, hmm, that'd be a really good catapult. And then you see the Cheerios and you're thinking, those would be good projectiles. And then before you know it, it's ready, aim, fire, right? Well, the good news is, first of all, don't try that at home tomorrow. But the good news is there is one toy that looks like food that you can play with, and that is a Mr. Potato Head. And I think a lot of you have played with the Mr. Potato Head before, or you might even have one at home. But if you're unfamiliar with the Mr. Potato Head, it looks like an ordinary potato until you start accessorizing him. So you could put, let's say, a hat on him. You can put eyes, ears, even a mustache. And then pretty soon, you've got a cool looking Mr. Potato Head, right? Um, and then you can get even sillier and you can put, let's say, his nose where his ears should be or his mouth where his eyes should be. And it's kind of fun to make him look a little bit crazy. Um, but in all honesty, our bodies are designed by God to function exactly as they are. Every part, our eyes, our ears, our mouth, our nose are exactly where they're meant to be and they function as they should um, according to God's design. And so I wanted to read you something from the Bible um, from 1 Corinthians 12 that talks a little bit about God's um, body of believers, our church, and how we're each designed to play an important role, just like the parts of our body. So I'm going to start with um, 1 Corinthians 12, 15. It says, now if the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. And if an ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. Uh, and that's true of our church at Church in the Valley. Um, the body is the church, and we all play an important part. Um, God needs us all to use our gifts and our talents to serve him and serve the church. And when we do that um, and, and work together as one, it really honors God. So, for example, God has called some of the adults at church to teach, and that's, those are who your kids' own teachers are. Um, that you usually see on Sundays. Uh, God's called some adults to serve. So if you see guys setting up before church or tearing down everything after church, he's given those men a heart to serve um, and, to, and to really help with the physical demands of our church. Um, same thing for the worship team. God has gifted some of the adults in our church amazing voices and the ability to play musical instruments. Um, and not everybody has the same talents, but when we work together as, um, as one, if everyone plays the part, um, the part that God designed for them to play, it really honors um, God in our, in our church. Another example I could give you um, would be like a baseball team. So if you're familiar with baseball, there's different parts or different positions to play. There's the pitcher who throws the ball. Um, the catcher who stands behind the batter ready to catch. You have uh, someone on first base, second base, third base. You have outfielder, outfielders, infielders. I know I'm sure there's more positions, but everyone is, um, is given that position based on their ability. The coach put them in there because he saw that they have a certain gift. Now, let's say the catcher is tired of squatting down behind the batter and always just having to wait for the pitcher. And he feels like the pitcher has all the glory on the team. So he decides to go out and be the pitcher. Well, if he doesn't throw very well and he's not using his talents as a catcher, he's going to let his team down. And that's a, that's a lose for the team. But if the catcher takes his place on the position and uses his gifts and his abilities, that's a win for the team. Everyone has a part. Whether it feels small at times or if it feels like your center stage, everyone has a part to play. And God has put all of us in, in that position um, to work for the good of the church. 
So God's gifted you with a special talent and ability. And some of you um, have an idea what your gifts are already, but most of you probably don't yet. And if you're seeking God's will for your life, um, God will show you how he has gifted you and he'll help you find the best place to use those gifts. And God needs all of us to do his part. He needs the eyes. He needs the ears. He needs every part of the body in place so his church can serve him. If we ask God to help us find our place in his family, we'll become something greater than a Mr. Potato Head, right? Um, we will be a church that will win the world for Jesus with everyone playing their part. Have a great week.